So I've come to a part in the lake where it's sunny and the only way to get to the other side of the cove is through the sunlight. And I, I don't want to get too dark. So I'm going to have to pull out my sleeves. It's a DIY sleeve. Almost lost some stuff. It's a DIY sleeve. It's exactly what you think it is. It's an under armor. And what you want to do is just cut it where the sleeves are, but you want to cut it up here is where you want to cut it. You, won't, you don't want to cut it down here because then it'll start to get frizzy. And I find it that when I put, when I wear it the small side in, it stays in my arm a lot better. The only problem is now I look hippie. I'm just like... But this is, this is going to protect me in the sunlight. Alright, so I got my sleeves on. I didn't pig out, finally got my hat on, and I'm ready to go. Let's paddle a little ways through the sunlight, and hopefully I'll make it to the other side. I gotta bring up the anchor. I'm in, I'm in the full heat of the sunlight right now. I'm still doing okay. My toes might need some covering. I do have a rag in my bag. If I feel like I need to put a rag over my legs, I'll pull over and assess the situation. I've been humming something for the past few minutes, and to me it sounds like a gospel song or something. It goes something like, Alright, so I'm looking for the bag. It's starting to get really warm right now. I can't find the rag and it's starting to heat up. Okay, I can't stop. I gotta just... I don't know why I stopped here. I don't know, I'm panicking. It's starting to break a sweat here. It's half faith, son. It's gonna be okay. It's just sunlight. Did I bring my rag? Let's just go. Let's just go. I was gonna pull out the, the rag so I can cover my beautiful legs, but... So I think I leveled up in paddling. Now I could, I could paddle with one hand. See, I got I got this hand up here. I'm not using it. But it's really slow, so maybe I'm level one of paddling with one hand. Hopefully I could level up real soon because it's like, it's getting hot out here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm a level up my one hand later on. I'm gonna continue to paddle out of the sunlight. Shade, here I come. So I just pulled into a bank to rest for a second because it looks like the journey ahead of me, it's gonna be very sunny. I'm gonna have to cross a big channel. There's gonna be a lot of boats that are gonna be traveling nearby, so I'm gonna have to be real quick about it. What's up, everybody? I'm back. Turn the camera back on. I was gonna paddle that way some more, but that's, that's a long paddle just with this fish boat. It's wide and it's slow, and it, every time I paddle one way, goes the kayak goes the other way. 
So, so what I'm gonna do instead is go in this cove over here. And if anything, I'll just kind of make my, I'll just travel along the bank and just cast around there. But the main thing is to just get out of sun. Fortunately, I have my survival sleeves on. It comes in handy when the weather's hot, warm and you don't have to wear like a long sleeve shirt. You just throw on your sleeves and it'll protect you for a little bit. Only problem is my hand, so maybe I, I could put like, just drill some, cut some holes there. Yeah, I just cut a hole there and just stick my finger out like that. And then it becomes protection. It's time for upgrades, but first, find some shelter. So this is a nice little cove. It's more residential than the other ones. The previous ones were more of a, swamp, a swampy, shallow cove. This is probably a lot deeper since I see some boat docks around here. But I'm gonna find some shade, maybe like right here. Oh, the sun is getting hot. pull in this corner here and it's gonna drop my anchor so we're in the shade for a little bit it's time to upgrade these sleeves I've got survival tweezers I don't know if that's gonna cut anything yep I don't have anything else except these tweezers let's see what we can do with these tweezers close inspection we got this little part right here maybe I just like clip it like that or maybe right there hmm no bien I don't like that design but oh I got a Calm down. Don't want to burn the fishes. All right. While I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw down Cordell. See if he's he'll catch anything. Did I catch something? Did I catch something? I don't know. I caught something. I caught something. Well, I caught a crappie. But I was uh, too busy trying to get it on GoPro that it, it spit it out. The good thing is I got it on camera. So that's one point for Cordell. Cordell is holding the title. And when it hit, it didn't hit too hard. It, I thought it, I snagged on something. And it didn't fight too hard either. But then again, I was too busy trying to get it to record it on the GoPro. Oh shit, damn. There's like a big old dragonfly, two dragonflies like mating and it was like Jurassic Park right in front of me. All right, so I'm happy to say that Cordell is reigning supreme right now. I'm gonna go with Cordell. It was a keeper. It was probably about eight inches. I'm gonna have to look it up. Oh, see, when Cordell doesn't catch anything, it catches something. Water weed, grass weed, I'm not sure what it's called. I'll flash it in the video. Almost landed in a residential boat there. I'm gonna keep fishing and see if I, and see if I don't catch anything besides seaweed. I think I've given Cordell a lot of chances to catch fish. I'm gonna go back to the real deal and see if it'll catch anything. Real deal, here it goes. 
Real deal. Get out of here. Let's get to another cove. I don't know. I'm just going to travel that way. Yeah. Uh, one crappie. It was eight inches by this big. Yeah, I caught it right here. Where are you guys heading to? Back? Yeah. Okay. Any luck? Yeah, I caught a couple little sunfish. First time I caught, I reeled in a fish in years, man. It was just nice. Yeah. Just to catch something, you know? We headed back in? Yeah, I'm gonna start paddling in. I'm, I'm done. Okay, what time is it? It's 11. Okay. Yeah, it's getting warm. Yeah, right. Cru cruising back. Okay. I got some cold drinks if you guys want. I just got the uh, sparkling water, or the seltzer water. Is this the one from Harris Theater? Yeah, I'll take one with that. That was that citrus one with caffeine. What flavor would you care for? I got lime and I got grapefruit. Wet. Wet. I can't get to you. And don't throw it. Who brought this one in? Shit. You want me to push you there? I'm going to push you over there. Oh, you yes. You're such a dick. <laughs> you were getting hot. I was. Wow, you got Not so much. Anymore. You got splashed. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. You're welcome. Appreciate it. So today I tried using Hardy's omelet and hash browns to try to catch fish at a lot of plantation, but nothing bit. So I don't know if it's just because I'm throwing it in the wrong place, if the fish are well fed, or they if they just don't like omelets or hash browns. But I didn't catch anything with Hardy's breakfast. But what I did get was a full stomach and a crappy on a fish lure, Cordell. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> on my last, whoa. Big crane. That was a big crane bird that flew by me. On my last trip to Lotta Plantation, I took notes down of what could I have taken on the next trip. And it was an anchor, some long sleeves, and maybe a, a towel or a, or a rag. Unfortunately, I forgot the rag at home or maybe it's in my backpack I just couldn't find it. maybe it's in the back right now and but it's hard to get access to it back here so I think on my next trip I'm gonna say bring some sunblock I do have sunblock but I I didn't use it Even though I have a hat on and I got all these things on, it's still, I got to put on sunblock because, because the rays that bounce off of the, bounce up off of the water hits my face. I can feel my, my lips burning a little bit.